All right, you are welcome once again to As A Matter Of Fact YouTube channel. As always, we take time to thank you. Oh my God, we can't be where you're not. You are our number one supporters and we thank you every day that you take some time off to watch this channel, to be informed, to be enlightened on different things that are transpiring in Uganda and in East Africa and Africa at large. So today we come with the... Uh, news that has been trending the entire day about General Mohoz Kainerugaba. Today he came out to declare through his posts that most people want to ignore. Today he came out to declare that he will be standing for presidency come 2026. Now, to most of the people who are accustomed to this channel, as a matter of fact, don't find this as news because we have constantly been saying it that Mohoz Kainerugaba is readying himself for the presidency of this country. We went ahead to tell you that he has the potential to actually lead this country and whatever he does is methodical, methodical and preparing him. He has encircled himself with very intelligent people, including Mwenda and so many other people that advise him on every step that he takes. We, you know, took some time to talk about his tweets. A few years ago, before Mohoz started tweeting whatever he tweets and people take and serious, no one knew him. But when he started tweeting, what people want to term as nonsense, over and over again, he has become the talk of town, and people, intelligent people, have started giving him an ear, and earmarking him for presidency. And in no time, much as he has always come out to refute the allegations that he wants to be the successor of his father, he wants to stand for presidency, today he came out on Twitter again to say, Enough is enough for the old guard. We, the young generation, we are going to be the next thing. In other words, I am ready to be the president of this country and come 2026, I am going to stand. What have we been talking about all this long in this channel? We've been saying methodically, Mohoz Kainerugaba is readying himself to be the president of Uganda. You look at the parties, you know, that he threw when he was being congratulated upon being elevated to a full general, no, uh, being elevated to a lieutenant general. He traversed this country and people were, you know, welcoming him like crazy. So people literally love, love him, people around the country love him, and those who think that he has no support are misled. He has the tools and he has the support of very intelligent young people that are willing to do everything possible to ensure that he becomes the next president of Uganda. He is educated, he has the right networks, and above all, he is an army man which is very pivotal in this country. We've already said it, that it would be a mountain to climb for anybody, a civilian, to come and become the president of this country. I'm not tagging names to this, but you know yourselves. If you are a civilian in this country, in Uganda, becoming the president is like climbing Mount Elgon on your knees. So he has the demeanor, he has the qualities, he has the education background, he has the military experience that is necessary to become the president of this country. Once again, it was an outburst on social media because he took on his Twitter to say that enough is enough for the old guard, it is time for the youths to take the mantle of leadership for this country. Today we're going to work with an article in Daily Monitor that came out a few hours ago on the same. And we're going to take you uh, line by line. 
It has a working title, I am tired of waiting. I will stand for presidency in 2026, says Mohoz. First son, General Mohoz Kainirugaba, has slammed the old generation of leaders to whom, to which his father, Yoel Kagutam Seveni, and his uncle, Salim Saleh, belong for reportedly dominating young generation as he declares or as he declared his presidency, his presidential ambitions. So Mohozi, in, you know, came out to slam the old guard of leadership in this country. And of course, when he talks of the old guard, he, you know, includes his uncle, General Salim Sare, and then his father, Yoel Kabutam Seven. So he slams them for, you know, um, for being in power and dominating the young ones in the presidency of this country. Okay? We continue reading. The 48-year-old serving military officer and presidential advisor, advisor on special operations indicated that he has had enough of waiting for his turn to lead the country as, the, as, that, as time seems to be fast running out of him. He said, oh, I caught him. As in, I am quoting Daily Monitor that are quoting uh, General Mohoz Kainerugaba. The Prime Minister of UK is 42 years old. The Prime Minister of Finland is 37 years old. Some of us are hitting 50 years and we are tired of waiting forever. We will take a stand. Fidro Castro, my hero, you know, um, General Mohoz Kainerugaba grew up looking up to Fidel Castro. So he says Fidel Castro, his hero, became president at 32. I'm about to hit 49 years old. It's really not right. The presidency of this nation is meant for young men. How many agree with me that our time has come? Enough of old people ruling us, dominating us. It's time for our generation to side. Strong statements. Strong statements. You know, he has gone ahead to recite several leaders that became who they were, that became presidents at young age, including Fidel Castro that he grew up looking up to. So Mohozi is saying he is about to clock 50, He's around 48, 49 now, and he is tired of waiting for his turn, waiting for his generation of youths to take over leadership in this country. What does this signal? He is going to stand, he is declaring that he's going to stand for presidency of this country come 2026. You know, there are so many, um, there are so many notions there are so many beliefs around this. There are people who believe that this is just a hoax. They are reading someone else, not him. But when you categorically look, when you categorically look at what this gentleman has been saying and tweeting over time, he is serious about them. And don't think that his father does not listen, does not read, does not get to know what he says. He does. And he knows the level of seriousness that his son is on. So when he says that enough is enough, enough of the old guard uh, dominating the youths, then he means it. We all understand that General Mohozi Kainerugaba has a team of very vibrant youths, okay, that are on social media. Because the other party, or let's say Noop, has dominated the platform. So among the youths that believed in his ideologies, that believed, is, that believed in his leadership, came out to create very vibrant, very vocal, very intellectual, by the way, uh, social media handles, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, name it, and they call themselves MK Ame. 
it is not an army for guns, but an army for an intellectual army, an intellectual army of writing, an intellectual army of, you know, replying fire when fire is gutted. Replying fire with fire. Neutralizing fire with fire, not neutralizing fire with water. So he has that brigade. He has that vibrant, intelligent, educated, you know, youths that are looking up to him. And trust me, Soon or later, we shall see a wave of so many intelligent youths that had sought refuge in NUP turning to follow MK. So our song here, on, as a matter of fact, is actually becoming uh, a reality because we have always and always said that Mohozka Nerugaba has the moral authority the, the financial muscle, the intellectuality, the, he literally has everything to become the next president of Uganda. And when he comes to declare, much as it is on his socials, take it serious. Come 2026, we are likely to see Muhozi, Kainerugaba, Yoel Kakuta Museveni, Bobby Wine Chagulani, maybe, Rob, maybe Nobat Mao, maybe Colonel Dr. Chizabet again on the same ballot paper. So that's what we have for you today on as a matter of fact. We hope you pick a leaf. We hope it's interesting for you. So if you think our channel is informative, brings you important information that you need to understand, please share this video, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. It is very, very important. It, it is very, very important for us to grow our community. So go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Hit that bell button where whenever we put a new video, you will be notified. Please, don't leave before you hit a subscription button. Otherwise, from me to you today, I am TJ, and I wish you a lovely evening. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell button such that you can be reminded whenever we put a new video. Much love.